to be totally fair to the lad, I don't know him. I've only ever met him twice and only very, very briefly. But you don't need to meet most people for more than two seconds to get a whiff of who they really are. And that kid, he's a wrong one. A bad seed. He came into our home, never said hello, never said goodbye. Didn't express any gratitude whatsoever when I offered him a drink. My eldest, she's brought home some right characters too. Hello, Mrs. Palmer, how are you? Mm, Mum says hello. Did you enjoy your holiday, Christine? Smarmy gets. Were they trying to kiss? What sort of 15 year old cares how my holiday was? And I never knew his mother. And I never told that when he could call me Christine either. But this Aidan Aceras, he's strange in a totally different way. There's this weird void to him, a deadness behind the eyes. Not in a, the lights are on, but there's no one at home sort of way. The lights are dim, but there is most definitely someone at home. Who that is, is the problem. Who is lurking behind that thick skull and gormless expression? Probably a future serial killer. Or rapist. And I'm not saying that because of where he lives. I'm not a snob. We found out this lad got caught up, sub trouble, you know, police involved and everything. Really, you know, not good stuff if you believe what you hear. He's definitely not the sort of person me and our tone want our Sarah associated with, let alone dating. So we told her, didn't we? We told her in no uncertain terms she's got to stop seeing him. Now, we've had some monumental arguments with her and her sisters before. You know, the sort of tone always refers to as World War Three. Doors get slammed, the shouting, crying. Threats thrown around that they leave home and all that malarkey. You just roll your eyes and think to yourself, yeah, good luck with that, love. Have fun trying to find somewhere to rent with the earnings of a 16-year-old. <laughs> and don't slam me doors! We expected something similar this time round, but World War Three. This was World War One, Two, Three, and a nuclear apocalypse all rolled into one. We'd never seen anything like it. She was in complete hysterics. She could barely breathe. I'm gonna kill myself, she kept wailing. <laughs> We'd never had that one before. Oh, we've ruined our kids' lives multiple times at some point or another, but never actually driven them to suicide. Well, despite the threats of her off in herself, she made it through the night, unscathed and alive. The problem was, she was just a little too cheery this morning. She didn't ignore us. There was no slamming the kitchen cupboards to subtly inform us she was still upset. She was actually pretty civil for her. <laughs> Silly girl. We're not falling for that one. I was 15 once too, you know. She probably thinks she can carry on seeing him behind our backs. Well, nice try, sweetheart. But your sweet little girl act isn't going to wash. I'm taking your phone, your laptop, and you're grounded until I believe, beyond any shadow of doubt, that you absolutely hate us, wish we were dead, and feel like I have totally ruined your life. That way I'll know. She's actually stopped seeing him. Bloody kids.